All right, guys, let's play the game again. You ready for the game? Was I wearing the shirt last time? I don't know. Let's play the how much pi how much pizza can Max eat in one sitting? Um, I'm not gonna lie. I've, it's, I've taken a day for me. I haven't done this in a long time. I played a video game for five hours straight today. I'm not proud of it, but we're gonna see if I can crush this whole pizza. We got Papa John's this time. No Domino's. Uh, pepperoni, sausage, chicken. Ooh! I think I might go get a monster real fast. Ooh, but I don't wanna get cold. I don't know. How much can I eat? Can I eat the whole thing? Here we go! Ooh. All right, how do we do? If you're like, wow, I bet Max did not finish the pizza again, then you're wrong! Because we have one piece left, and I'm about to crush it right now. <laughs> dirty, dirty, dirty. Whole pizza, that's like a, this is the second time in my entire life I've ever crushed an entire pizza. And now there's people out there that go, ha, Max, I crush a large pizza every time I eat pizza. Not me! Delicious, not really nutritious. There was chicken on there though. <laughs> Grocery shopping with Max. Now, I don't ever cook food. Let's just get that over with. Uh, I just don't. I eat out every single day. I don't like prepping food. I don't like eating leftover heated food that I prep. Uh, so I buy everything pretty much prepackaged. I eat out for lunch and at night. I'm usually busy with the gym and editing and doing every forward stuff that I just eat prepackaged stuff. Which is what it is. Getting some apples and then I'll show you everything that I buy and you can kind of get a little insight about the 12 year old life of my diet. So pretty much every single time I get apples and then I get rice and these are three for five. These are my favorite and if you've never had the VT, the chicken flavor one is delicious. I've never had this one and I've never had the pilaf. Or have I, I don't know. Definitely gonna get some chicken rice. I eat a lot of rice, whether it be like Chipotle or at home. That's where a lot of my carbs will come from. Will be rice. So, you know, back in the day when I did my internship, right, where I was like finishing up in college, I would just buy like turkey meat and I would just make sandwiches every day. Just cold sandwiches or I'd like heat them up in the microwave in the back. I'm not about that life anymore, guys. <laughs> Sometimes I'll buy stuff like this when it's on sale, even though two for seven isn't that bad. So this has a little over 50 grams of protein per bag. Grilled vagina. We'll go ahead and pick up two of these. I really like buying these. These are not that bad, so it's five dollars, so it's less than a dollar a thing. It's just a little thing to get some more, you know, electrolytes, just a little more liquid. I count this as water, so it's zero calorie. Uh, it's not water, but it pretty much is enough, close enough to water that I would count it as my water intake, but I still get like a gallon of water a day. But it adds some flavor, and I also get flavor water packet things, but they're not in this aisle. You ever have trouble getting in your fiber intake? I'd recommend this cereal. It's kind of expensive, four seventy nine. dollars But like this one, even though it looks like little rabbit pellets, and it tastes just like Cheerios, honestly. It just looks like rabbit pellets. This has 14 grams of fiber per serving. This is great. I usually use like one serving or half a serving of this and I mix it with another cereal just to get some extra fiber in if I'm low. So I always look for deals because cereal is super expensive and I usually get it at Walmart. So we're gonna get two boxes of mini wheats. Fun fact, back in my, my super bro days, I literally ate this, nothing but shredded wheat because I was so anti anything with sugar, anything with high fructose corn syrup. Now I'm, I obviously don't, but like I was so miserable. I would, I would make this with, uh, I put like almonds in it and it was like the most boring, bland, lamest cereal in the world. But I was like, <laughs> this is how I'm gonna get my gains. But we're gonna get two boxes of mini wheats, frosted mini wheats. <laughs> I'm not buying any of these, but these are really good. Max approval. Also, fun fact, back when I was skateboarder max, I would drink these every day. I'd skate up to the Walgreens and I would drink Arizona raspberry or the peach every single day. Every day. These are fantastic to hit your protein and they're a delicious little treat. So I've put this in a video before, but if any of you have dogs, go in your fro- Ow! Thing, it hit me in the back of the head. Uh, go in the frozen food section and get this and give it to your dog and then Snapchat me your dog eating this because they will love it and they go crazy for it and they like scoot it around the floor when they're eating it. <laughs> if you have a dog, go buy this. And then I always get some frozen veggies. We get some broccoli. They really, people have come and taken all the good ones, but if we get the, uh, the protein ones, I really like these. Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay, you good on here with this box. But uh, these protein blends are really good. So, 
I usually get all my veggies are frozen. So there's an example of some stuff that I picked up at the grocery store. It's a lot of processed stuff and it's a lot of like frozen veggies. Um, I try to eat like you know, one or two servings of veggies, one or two servings of fruit. Um, I, it's basically a lot of carbs. <laughs> so I would stress to you guys to eat as much whole foods as possible and stay away from the processed stuff as much as possible. Um, with my schedule and everything I have going on, I just take the convenience of it. I really should not do that and I'm trying to work on that. So it's something that I'm trying to work on. I'm trying to balance my schedule better to be able to prepare food. Also, if I prepped my meals, I would save a lot of money. It's worth more to, for me to spend the money on like lunch and dinners and breakfast than to prepare it all because I have other stuff that I'd rather be doing and I'd just rather pay. So I'm working on it. Eat whole foods. That's it. So I'm actually editing this video that you're watching right now, but I figured I'd show you like a meal of what I make with those groceries since I'm making some food right now. Um, so I took the chicken breast that I bought and I mixed it with the pasta. So I have this, which I guess I'm a George Costanza this. So this is kind of like the, the pre-made, so it's penne and veggies. So I mix all that up and there's also some banana peppers in there. So again, this is like, this takes me about three minutes to make. Um, yeah, and then I'm probably going to cook up like a quarter of this bag of broccoli and throw that in there as well to get more volume. But again, prepackaged life <laughs> just for convenience. I, I need to get like a chef, like DJ Khaled or something. So came home to the brand new Ape Athletics hoodies. They had a whole restock and like a whole bunch of new shirts, but I don't have any of them yet for some reason. But um, as soon as I do, I'll show them to you. But regardless, uh, a lot of cool stuff on there. You can always use my name, Max, to save yourself some dollar dollar bills in the description. Um, if you guys didn't know, I also, this is cool, I cracked my screen. So it was already kind of cracked and then I dropped it on carpet and it just shattered and it's like, this is like definitely gonna cut my fingers. Like there's a little glass always coming out of it. So I have to go to the Apple store. I have an appointment, which hopefully they see me at the right time. They never really do, but we gotta go there and get a replacement because I have Apple Care, so that's like cool, but this is cool. Oh my God, get a case, get a case, get a case. Ah. If you've ever wondered if dog pee smells in a hallway, it, it does. Or I guess technically that could have been human pee, not mine. Please, no one take this spot right there. I'm coming for you. Great success. As much as I love parking right here, because it's free and there's very few spots in DC you can park. Uh, a girl from my gym actually parked here like the other day and her back window got smashed and stuff stolen out, which sucks. I can't believe people do that, but hope it does not happen to me. So I will not be leaving anything valuable in sight. Tonight is one of those nights where just everything is going terrible, movements are going super slow. I'm going to overlay some of my squat footage and maybe some other footage if I feel like lifting. But um, we're doing dynamic lower, which I do in a wave of 75 85%. Tonight is 80% on squats. So eight sets of three of 80%, which is 370 pounds. And it's just going so slow and it's like demotivating me and I don't know why I've been on such like a great streak in the gym I've been like the past like two months it's just been like very motivated to get in the gym very motivated on my lifts everything's been going great and then just randomly I come in the gym tonight and it's just like Meh. you will not pass 
these things happen. It happens to everyone. It happens to your favorite YouTuber. It happens to your favorite, you know, fitness person. And um, don't let it get your head too much. It will, especially when like you go up, and you're like, all right, super excited, 370. This is only 80%. I've moved 405 faster than this. And you go to like your first rep, and just like, nah. it sucks. It happens. Don't let it get in your head too much. Usually, sometimes it'll completely affect your whole workout like, like it is right now. I mean, talking about it is just making myself sad, but <laughs> it happens. But we're gonna get through the workout. We're gonna push on and the next time we come back to this workout, we'll come in with a little more positive mindset and kick some ice. So, while I would love to say that I'm the most motivational person in the world and I just pushed through the workout, I got you know, the motivation back, I realized my goals and I focused and I just killed the rest of the workout, I did not. Okay, I got up to about 405 on my deadlift, so I'm supposed to do 490 for 10 singles and I could not even lift 405 for like one. It was embarrassing. I was so demotivated, I was devoting myself, it just kept getting in my head, like the worse and worse I did, the more it affected my workout. So I. And focus. I uh, just basically did glute ham raises and I got out. And there's a lot of people that will be like, never quit a workout, never do this, never do that, always you know, do something. And sometimes it just doesn't work like that. <laughs> sometimes you're human and you're just like, I'm out if I foul, I'm out, I'm out. I'm having such a bad day that I just need to gather my thoughts, collect everything, and come back and try this again next time. So it happens, guys. It happens.